Hello everyone, well, thanks for tuning into today's uh, second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the 10 to 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 17th of July and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. They run throughout a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS bit too at the end of the video for the next four weeks and that gets into early August. I'll get on with that for you in a moment. Just say that first a video today was our 6 m UK weather forecast. Please like, share, subscribe on all today's videos and content. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. We release a gas weather. It's winter 2025-26 NEA forecast. Yesterday, did a nice premiere. Hello to everyone. So I'm a premiere with me. So uh, the NEA forecast for uh, the next winter is now out there. Have a look, see what we're uh, predicting just in terms purely of the North Atlantic Oscillation for winter of 2025-26. And I say it's out there uh, right now for you to have have a look at that. We did a nice live stream afterwards. So that went on for about an hour and 20 minutes. And nothing went wrong. So normally if it's a very long stream, because I've messed something up. <laughs> and got to go into recovery mode. It's something like that. Just like a really nice sunny live stream. A one-off uh, event. And, uh, you know, it, it was really lovely. So thanks so much everyone. So the live stream with me. A special thank to Send It. Because uh, Send It did a little chat with me. We had a little chat on the live stream. Which was very very nice and uh, uh send it weather channel um absolutely incredible so make sure you check out send it and give him a sub and uh what not thank you so much to send it uh for <laughs> so much to send it for um spending uh well it's actually uh, it was only going to be 10 50 minutes but i think it was about half an hour in the end so we had a lovely chat it was very very nice thank you matthew right just to say uh we're launching a 20k or we have launched a 20k giveaway as well so this is what we're giving away we give away a cushion insert sticker sheet sticker pad verbal flask keychain magnet pin bash 3d pin and notepad sticky pad coaster socks mouse mat and pen it can all be yours for just entering our giveaway so two ways to do that do it on the discord by uh, replying to the uh, emoji in the relevant Discord channel. Or you can email me at gowsweathervids at gmail.com uh, with your name and you'll be entered into the uh, prize draw on Wednesday's live stream. Because we're live again on Wednesday. Wednesday's live stream at 6pm. We will be uh, giving away that bundle of merch to celebrate getting to 20k. And uh, so, uh, Wednesday's live stream will be like a 20k uh, subs. Um, uh, live stream, you know, celebration stream. Uh, right, okay, all of that said and done, let's crack on with the video then. So we're going to start off with the latest weather map of noschool.net, showing that winds are in from a northwesterly direction today. So it's still a nice fresh feel. However, the uh, so low pressure gave us a rubber showery weekend, maybe more showery, uh, wetter and more unsettled than perhaps we uh, thought it would be. Uh, oh, well, perhaps I thought it would be. <laughs> I messed it up. I messed up the forecast the weekend. Let's uh, let's say that. Anyway, that low pressure is more or less gone now. And the trend this week is for the Azores High to be heading back in. Central in temperature is sitting at 18.3. That's 2.3 degrees above the 61 to 1990 average. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensemble. Showing that the trend is an upwards one. Over the next few days. So actually a little bit below average with the upper air temperature at the moment. Of course, feels nice and warm when the sun's out. But the uh, upper air temperatures will be lifting up over the coming days. And by the end of week into weekend, looking uh, quite hot. Although you'll notice we have now lost those extreme outlier members going up to that sort of level. We've lost most of them. Still got one there, I guess. But we've lost most of them. So it looks like we're in for a spell of hot weather. Uh, possibly you could classify it as heat wave. And then it looks like we go into a cool, but not extreme, you know, not 40 degrees. And then we go uh, into a cool down mode again into the second half of, uh, of uh, July there. Precipitation anomalies, so quite a bit of dry weather to come over the rest of this week, to be honest. Could turn um, showery through the weekend into next week. That might involve thunder. And then beyond that, looking rather uh, mixed as well. Temperature anomalies for the next five days up to 12th of July are above 
average 6 to 10 day temperature anomaly more above average quite hot and the uh, 8 to 12 day is also coming out above average that gets us to the 19th July so remaining warm for our precipitation I'm just conserving it 7 days back coming out drier than normal right let's start going from the chart day to end Mr. Avalanche UK met Euro run looking for midnight on Thursday high pressure building in from the Azores bringing lots of dry fine warm too hot weather with it through the end of week and into the weekend. By the beginning of next week, a trough just starting to edge in from the Atlantic. That could be the trigger for some heavy downpours and maybe some thunder. Icon again with high pressure building up from the Azores through the remainder of this week into weekend. We're high and dry. Winds coming in from east south east direction. Looks hot for the weekend. Probably a barbecue weekend. Perhaps a thundery trough beginning to edge in by the end of Sunday and into the beginning of next week. Could be threatening by the storms. And a bit of a cool down. Right, well, how's the KMA looking? Again, that one a large area of high pressure bringing a lot of dry warm very warm weather in with it up to the middle of july starts to turn a bit more unsettled low pressure bringing cooler and wetter weather edging in from off the atlantic so starting to turn mixed there into the second half of july and then we've got the gfs midnight run again with high pressure building up from the uh azores through thursday friday saturday sunday high dry very warm hot conditions likely got 15 cells ice per there in across england and wales that should get us to the low 30 Celsius. And by Tuesday, well, we're starting to bring a trough in from the Atlantic. That could bring some showers in with it. And then looking rather mixed and showery as we move on in, uh, in through the third week of July. Wind's always coming up from the south, so looking very warm. Locally uh, quite hot, but that low could well bring showers and or some longer spells of rain as well. So, uh, hot for this week. Cooler for next week, the, um, you know, ongoing summer pattern, which is one of generally a very warm weather. It is a very warm summer interspersed between uh, periods of slightly cooler and more shower conditions set to continue. Pattern of the summer so far. GFS 6Z uh, looks like this. And, of course, in the summer forecast, I hope in the summer forecast, let me know, excuse me, I think guys, where the summer forecast is going quite well because, um, you know, we went for a warm summer, a very warm summer. We stopped just short of a classic hot, long, hot summer. Um, reason being, it did look so we could get these slightly more uh, mixed periods, which you don't tend to get in those, you know, very long, classic hot summers like, I guess, 76, 95. You put 2022 with that as well, probably. Uh, right, but GFS 6Z, again, with high pressure over and to the east of the country brings lots of very warm weather through the rest of this week and into the weekend by the beginning of next week start to have a wind around more of a westerly looking rather showering looking rather mixed perhaps more so with a six egg compared to midnight run as we move into the second half of July it's going to be the blocking appearing around Green Iceland as well which is a slightly newer trend so maybe rather cooler and showery with the GFS 6 Z. As we go through about third week of August, that get, uh, third week of July, I should say, that gets us to the 23rd. It, <coughs> hold on. <coughs> so sorry, we we'll got our video or live stream back off. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let's so, know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about guys, webs, and get them to subscribe too. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Okay, yeah, with uh, the Azores side in control and in the ascendancy through the end of week and into the weekend as well. Very warm to hot and mainly dry. Early next week, layer pressure starts surging in from off the Atlantic. That could bring some uh, cooler and more showery conditions. We end up under a trough of low pressure there. That's the 17th of July by day 10. And then the ECM rounding it all off with high pressure building up from the southwest. It brings a lot of dry, warm, very warm to hot weather with it over the weekend. And then into next week, a trough 
gradually started to move in from off the Atlantic, possibly bring the trigger for some thunder. But then the E7 is actually building my Azores high back in again after that, actually. So in the extended, unlike the other model outputs, which is cooler and more unsettled today, the ECM actually has a very warm, you know, and quite hot look to it till the very end where possibly it turns thundery. That gets us, by the way, to the 22nd of July. Um, this is my precipitation forecast based on my Chevron from Sumatra. So, quite a lot of dry weather to come over the remainder of this week. As I say, the weekend was perhaps more unsettled than anticipated <laughs> by myself. Um, but, uh, you know, the next few, the next week, anyway, looking mostly dry. Now, for the south, there's no measurable rain there, actually, in the next 10 days. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today, four day 10 from ECMDF.inc. 22 members of the ECM Ensemble to give control the operation run with high pressure slap bank over the top of the country, mostly dry, five and a half, 20. High pressure again, over country and nine with high pressure just to the southwest. So looking uh, very anti cyclonic. There, that is right, isn't it? Hold on. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ah, hang on. No, 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 no. Gab, 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 gab. Right, me. That's wrong. That's June. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. No, let's do that again. I did think something looked quite right there. Good save, Bo. Good save, Gav. Good save. <laughs> right. These are, that never happened. Forget it. Forget that happened. These are the Yachts on the table. A classic Gav moment. These are the Yachts on the table. With the ECM Ensembles for day 10. From the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 17th of July, wouldn't you know? 21 members of the ECM Ensembles. With a top of low. Over the top of the country. Oh, dear. Um, that's going to be cool and uh, cool and unsettled. 18. High pressure to the north and reaching through the west of Europe. That brings a lot of dry and warm, possibly quite hot weather with it. 12 with high pressure to the north, but also reaching through the south. So quite interesting. The 18 of the 12 probably give a majority favour of high pressure, but the actual majority option is the 21 that we've got here. And then in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. It'll go to the 22nd of July. 26 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure over to the east country, lower pressure out to the west. That could be a little bit more unsettled then. Uh, but quite warm. Winds will come up from the south. We've got 18 with high pressure over the country, but loads of dry weather still with it, and very warm winds coming in. South east direction and seven high pressure just to the northwest, and that will bring a lot of dry weather, but could be a bit cooler with winds coming in from the northeast direction. Finally, we'll set up SB2, piece of 500 millibar high dominance, and they are broken down into weekly periods. The first week period will be taking us from a seven. The 13th of July, but next week with high pressure through the north and the west of Europe, bringing loads of dry, fine weather. Week two will be the 14th to the 20th of July, high pressure over and to the east of the country. Winds coming up from the south, so very warm, hot, fine conditions. Week three will be the 21st, 27th of July, high pressure just to our south. Also, a bit of blocking up towards green, and some lower pressure. From here, I guess that's still what's mainly anticyclonic. Uh, week four, a little bit different. It's the 28th of uh, July to the 3rd of August. So, a trough bed in Scandinavia with ridge blocking around Greenland. Still, this ridge here. So, that high pressure in the continent will try to draw up a hot southerly. The uh, trough of the block around Green will try and bring down a cold northerly. We're in somewhere in between, so between. Possibly that could turn into a very wet pattern, uh, to be honest. Maybe fungi and this year made a very wet pattern as you get those two contrasting air mass of hot and cool sort of uh, clashing with one another. So that could be quite an interesting start to August. But of course, it's four weeks away. So um, it's not worth worrying about. Okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you're for DM out, drop a comment. Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gav Lovies and get them to subscribe to. And, um, well, thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. And to tell them about all the little tangents that Gav goes off on in the videos and streams, like the little mistakes that creep in now and again. <laughs> 
and a towel, but nobody does it like yeah. Right, okay, we're done anyway. So uh, you enjoy the rest of your Monday. I'm off to do uh, a second job. It's going to be another busy one, I think, as everybody returns home from um, Silverstone today. Uh, for Scott Brew, of course, yesterday. Well done, uh, Lando. Um, and tomorrow, we're going to have a 6 7 UK weather forecast. Not Lando, Lando yeah. Uh, we're going to have a 6 7 UK weather forecast. And uh, we'll also have, uh, I think that'll be European Outlook. I'll send European Outlook tomorrow as well. And if that, all that wasn't enough, there'll be a 10 14 day or two. So, uh, more to come tomorrow for this one, though. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.